After the owner of the company died, Hamza felt that he died too as he worked in this company for 30 years. The owner's son, Fadi, became the responsible for this company and the first thing he did was firing Hamza. Since Fadi didn't forget what Hamza did to him as Hamza knew that Fadi was transferring money from the company's accounts to his own accounts without telling his father and Fadi asked him not to tell his father but Hamza insisted to tell his father to be honest with him. But the reward for being honest was becoming a jobless person. He was borrowing money from his friends at the end of the month to spend on his family but now his whole life has come to an end. His oldest son is at faculty of medicine and his daughter is at faculty of engineering and his youngest son is at high school. They'll need a lot of money in addition to the water and electric bills, rent and his treatment and his wife's treatment and other things. He was very baffled and found himself standing in front of the company as the owner's company had an account contains more than £100,000 beside the company's account. So Hamza can spend from it for the owner's affairs while his absence, Hamza said to himself, it's the price of Fadi's trickery and the right of my service so he took the money and before he reached his house he said i have become a traitor and a thief no i wasn't and will not be such dirty man of my last days suddenly he went to the company and entered fadi's office without permission and he found him sitting amazed holding a letter which his father left to him Then Hamza put the money before Fadi and told him about his story. So Hamza was very proud of himself and he was about to get out of the office and Fadi called him and his voice was full of grief. Come Mr. Hamza with a gentle smile he gave him his father's letter to read it and it says my dear son I know that your first decision will be firing Mr. Hamza from work because you hate him. Since he told me your secret but you would better respect him for his honesty if he came back to you give him the check. That accompany this letter and know that he was my fellow in making this company Hamza cried so much and Fadi apologized to him and gave him the check which was double of what he was going to take. Fadi brought him back to the company to the responsible for the company in his absence. So Hamza cried and said, The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, spoke the truth when he said, Whoever leaves something for the sake of Allah, Allah will substitute for him something much better. ويرزقه من حيث لا يحتسب ومن يتوكل على الله فهو حسبه إن الله بالغ أمره قد جعل الله لكل شيء قدرا